Good morning, afternoon, or evening, wherever and whenever you are. My name is Benjamin, and welcome to this quick Godot tutorial. This is actually going to be a 3D tutorial, which I don't usually do a lot of, but I think this one's really cool. So in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create an effect where when your character moves behind a wall or a tree or something, it displays that character still in kind of like a uh, blue image of the of the player. So this is a really easy thing to do in 3D inside of Godot, so I'm gonna show you how to do that. Let's get started. So first, I've got a basic 3D scene. I've created a couple mesh, uh, CSG mesh in instances for the floor and the wall over here. I have a mesh instance for the player with a camera attached to it and a light, just to add a little bit of extra light to the scene as the player moves around. So. Then I attach this script, which just does some simple math to allow me to move the player. This doesn't even have any collisions. You can see if I run the game, uh, we can actually just go through this wall, but we can move around and we get a pretty good idea of when we're behind this block here, this wall. Okay, so in order to do this, we need to go into our mesh instance. This mesh instance is going to represent your player character in the game, and you're gonna go into the material for this. Now we're gonna set up a new spatial material, and this material is going to be the material that is displayed when you go behind something, so keep that in mind. The very first one that we set up here is the one that's displayed when we go behind something. So we'll click on this material. I'm gonna go into the flags, and we're gonna set transparent. We're gonna set unshaded. That will just make it so it's not shaded. That kind of sells the effect better. And then we do no depth test. Now you can see if we run the game right now, uh, our character, first of all, has no shading or lighting or anything, it's just white. But if we go behind this, we can see the character still when we go behind the wall. So that's the effect we want. Now we're going to go into the albedo here, and we're going to change this color to be kind of like a blue color here. Uh, you can make it whatever color you want, but I'm going to do kind of like a light blue color. Okay. So now we've set up the material that is going to be displayed when our character walks behind a wall. So the next step is going to be done inside of this same material here. We're going to do a next pass. And what this allows us to do is have the renderer draw this object twice. We draw it once with this material right here, and then we draw a second time with another material, and we can choose the priority in which they're rendered. So our first material here, this is the one that we want to display when our character walks behind something. But normally we don't want this material displayed, which means we actually want its render priority to be negative one. So it's going to be drawn behind the normal character, uh, the normal character material. So once we've set up this material completely like this, we can go into our next pass and we'll do a new spatial material and we we'll come into this. And the only important flag here is that we also need to set this to transparent as well. Otherwise, um, if we don't set it to transparent, you can see when we run the game, we can't see it. Um, our other material is, is prioritized over it. So we set this to transparent, and now when we run the game, you can see it's now showing our normal material. This is the normal material that our character will have, and then when we go behind the wall, it shows our other material, the material that is displayed when we walk behind an object. So that's going to be it. That's all you need to do, set this to transparent. Of course, you can make this material however you want um, or however your character should be. So uh, maybe we want our character to be kind of like a dark blue color like this, and when we run the game, you can see that this is our player character right here. It's dark blue, and we go behind a wall, we get that kind of ghosting effect. So that's gonna be it for this video. Hopefully you found it useful. Be sure to like it and subscribe. If you like this type of content, you can support my channel either through the membership, the YouTube membership program, or you can buy my one bit Godot course. There will be a link down in the description for that. Thank you so much for watching, and I will talk to you all later.